Hi, I'm Josh Farrell, Wine Director for Wine Express, and I have a special guest with me today. I have Ilaria Petito. Hi. She's the proprietor of Dona Chiara Winery in Campania, and today we're tasting her uh, Irpinia DOC 2008. Now, the grapes come from uh, the family-owned vineyard of Dona Chiara. Tell us about the vineyard, Hilaria. Yes, this vineyard is a property of my family uh, since uh, 200 years. 200 years? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's a long time, and uh, it's a big, uh, quite a big vineyard for uh, our mm -hmm. um, uh, land. Uh, it's 20 hectares mm -hmm. and of it's Alianico. All Alianico? Yes, all Alianico. See, Alianico is the, the prime red grape for that region. Yes, of course, and from uh, these um, grapes, this vineyard, we can make the Aglianico and the Taurasi. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the Irpinia DOC, and uh, of course uh, I have a very good memory of uh, this uh, property and mm. also when I was a uh, kid. Sure. And uh, my mother now, she irritates this uh, property from the grandmother. Okay. And so... And she's replanting, and so you yes. said uh, that the vines average about 30 years now, yes, right? Yes, 30 so, years. So nice mature vines, nice deep roots. Uh, yes. it's, it's a clay soil primarily, right? Uh, volcanic yes, clay. clay uh, yes, volcanic also. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother, she's uh, following uh, these grapes uh, since uh, 30 years with mm. the Lotta Integrata also. So it's um, kind of a biological. Oh, okay, right. So yes. not, not quite uh, organic, but uh, one step away, right? Yes. All right. And the, the making of uh, Irpinia Alianico is very similar to Taurasi, um, except the wine gets a little bit less age. Isn't that correct? Yes, it's correct. Uh, the Alianico spend uh, about uh, six months only in a French uh, six barrel. Six months in French oak barrels, mm -hmm. and they mix uh, old and new barrels so as not to overwhelm the grapes with the oak character, but to sort of uh, blend it in and, and make it uh, complement yes. the grape flavors. We don't like to over oak our wines, right. so we want to keep uh, the wine typical, the Ayanico typical, but of course Ayanico is a um, little bit aggressive, so mm -hmm. we want to have uh, the tannin uh, mm -hmm. more smooth. Right, makes a lot of sense. Yes. And you certainly don't get uh, uh, an overabundance of oak on the nose. You get, I'm getting violets, I'm getting uh, sort of black fruits, uh, plums. Prune? Yeah, maybe some, some uh, stewed fruit. Mm -hmm. And there's a mi distinct mineral note, like uh, you know, wet stones comes through. Generally, Irpinia is going to be a little more forward than Taurasi. Yes. Let's taste. Mm, and it is. It's very rich, though. Yes. I get a lot of fruit. I get those mineral notes. I get some nice uh, sort of dark chocolate notes. Um, a little bit of uh, licorice, maybe. Yes. More f some floral notes as well. And uh, I think uh, it is uh, an elegant Ayanico. Yes. Not too aggressive. No, obviously the tannins are there. It's a young wine. Um, but it seems to be uh, well constructed so that those tannins kind of hold it all up, um, keep things in place, and uh, it also bodes well for uh, some aging on this, wouldn't you say? Yes, of course. Uh, the Ayanico is a, a wine that uh, can age for a long time, mm -hmm. have a long life, uh, so, it's great. of course. Well, thank you, Ilari. This has been really nice. You're welcome. <laughs> if you haven't tried Alianico, <laughs> this is a great one to try. Enjoy.